Groot is many things. Wise beyond his words, adorable in his baby form, and a true team player. And as seemingly evidenced in Avengers Infinity War, Groot is also as worthy as the God of Thunder himself to wield an Asgardian weapon. Or so it seems. Infinity War co-directors Joe and Anthony Russo have finally revealed how Groot was able to lift Thor's new weapon in the film. In Avengers Infinity War, Thor, Groot, and Rocket travel to Nidavellir to meet with Itri, the Asgardian dwarf and weapons forger who created Thor's fearsome Mjolnir, the hammer that the Norse god's evil sister Hela destroyed in Thor Ragnarok. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. After sparking up a dying star and reactivating the forge to channel its raw energy, the foursome craft Thor's new killer weapon, the hammer meets battle axe known as Stormbreaker. The only thing missing from the weapon is a handle. Groot steps up and sacrifices one of his arms for the purpose, causing every viewer to let out an awe at his act of bravery and at the growing bond between the blonde tressed god and the tiny teen tree. But wait just a marvel minute. If only those who proved themselves worthy were able to lift Thor's old weapon, Mjolnir, how can Groot pick up Thor's shiny new villain-slaying toy, Stormbreaker? Whosoever be he worthy shall have the power. <laughs> Whatever, man, it's a trick. <laughs> Does that mean that Groot is on an equal playing field as Thor in the eyes of the Asgardian spirits? As much as we love Groot, it turns out that isn't the case. After a fan asked the Russo brothers to explain the scene, wondering whether Groot was suddenly deemed worthy, the pair disclosed that Groot was able to lift Stormbreaker because the weapon doesn't have the same rules as Mjolnir. The directors wrote on Twitter, Mjolnir requires worthiness, not Stormbreaker. There's actually a bit of a catch when it comes to this statement. Sure, anyone can pick up Stormbreaker regardless of predetermined suitability, but that doesn't mean it's easy to lift the weapon. With Mjolnir, it was about both worth and physical strength, but it still wouldn't budge unless someone deemed fit by the Asgardian gods tried to lift it, no matter how buff they were. We need to go. With Stormbreaker, it's a different story. Carrying such a special weapon is not only a great responsibility, but it also requires great power. And let's remember that it isn't as though Groot lifted Stormbreaker like it was a piece of cosmic candy that had been dropped on the ground. He was in a great deal of pain as he wound his arm around the weapon's two parts before snapping it off to be used as a handle. While he appears to be as physically strong as Thor, at least from this isolated incident, Groot isn't invincible just because he can lift the same weapon the Norse god can. However, Groot's ability to hold Stormbreaker could signal something much bigger than simply how powerful the Guardian is. There's a popular fan theory that suggests Groot, who crumbled away into space dust after Thanos' culling at the end of Avengers Infinity War, will come back to life in Avengers 4, reborn through the wood in Stormbreaker. Groot sacrificed himself in the first Guardians of the Galaxy, re-emerging after death as an infant. Does that mean that he could perform another self-resurrection in the upcoming Avengers movie? It might sound like a long shot to some, but Joe Russo, who directs Avengers 4 with his brother Anthony, hasn't ruled it out completely. The filmmaker told Huffington Post, I don't know if every piece of him that detaches can grow a future version of him, but who's to say? That's an interesting question. Interesting enough to keep our minds busy while we wait for Avengers 4 to drop? We think so. I am Guru. Whoa! Hey! 